Here is a new old stock motor that we're going to use as a replacement in the Leslie 22H. This is the original motor. The failure mode on this was that the motor had quit running and it apparently had been left just powered up by the uh, owners of it even though it wasn't turning and it caused it to overheat somewhat. I don't know how long it was in the stall condition but these windings look burnt. It looks like the uh, enamel insulation is overheated on them. And I was able to get this to run um, somewhat just by putting some more oil in it. But I really just don't trust it as a long-term replacement. Because I've had uh, motors, especially fan motors, that seem like they're okay, end up just shorting out and completely burning up due to... Uh, due to burned enamel insulation on the windings. So I thought it was really best to just go ahead and replace this. But the only thing is, replacements are very difficult to find. For some reason, this motor type is not made anymore, or if it is, is very rare. We tried to find some brand new ones, but we just, we just really weren't able to find a good solution to it. To have this rewound, I think, was going to be about $200. So South JK went to eBay, and he found some motors that are very similar. They're just about exactly the same. The only problem with these motors is that they didn't have any uh, threads in the shaft, or they didn't, and they didn't have this little, this little ridge here to put an E-clip into to mount the pulley on. And I tried to exchange this rotor and just tried to put it into the into this armature here, but that didn't work. It's it's slightly different in size. I think this this part is is different, so it wouldn't fit down in there. So we took this to a machine shop. South JK had it machined to exactly replicate uh, this this tap here for the screw and this little groove and an e-clip is used. It may be a little hard to see it but there it is. There's the e-clip. An e-clip is used to hold the uh, hold the thing in place and then uh, and then the machinist used an allen type screw on there and it was a lot more cost effective because these motors were, were purchased very cheap and e e in spite of having precision machine work done on them it was a lot cheaper than either trying to buy trying to find a new Leslie motor which are very hard to come by or trying to get this rewound so that it would be safe so I've got a uh, this this is a new old stock motor from uh, 1962 and it has cloth covered wire on the uh, it has cloth covered wires on it so I put some heat shrink tubing on there for some additional protection, but the motor does work good. Let me plug it in here. We'll get it lined up a little bit better on the bearings um, when I put the clamps on to mount it onto the to the actual unit. But it seems to run good, and I just put on a power cord and non-polarized plug. This is the lower Leslie motor. So now I'm going to install this into the Leslie 22H.